Hey guys, welcome to this course. Today I'm going to teach you all about the low complexity flood hazard mapping approach, I mean hand model. You know, the height above nearest drainage or I mean hand model is first introduced by Reno et al. And you know, this is a hydrological train analysis method which has been used for uh, different issues including uh, flood hazard mapping, flood inundation mapping, flood susceptibility, and hydrological modeling in different parts of the world. In this approach, vertical distance between the cell in the topography map or digital elevation map and the nearest cell along a river that it drains into defines the hand value. In other words, the hand raster is the elevation difference between a cell in a topography map and the nearest cell along a river. All grid cells on the topography map that had a hand value lower than a specific water level that is considered inundated. For example, you can calculate a flood uh, uh, water level for different return periods and then calculate the inundated area and flood depths. The schematic representation of hand raster creation is shown in the figure one and moreover the procedure of channel hydraulic properties, uh, I mean extraction of rating curve uh, at a rich scale are presented in figure two. Okay, in order to start to calculate uh, the hand value raster, you need to have a a digital elevation model raster, I mean DIM. Uh, you can download or you can prepare this data set from different sources. For example, you can go to the Open Topography uh, website and go to the global and regional DIM and uh, from the different uh, DIM source you can select, for example, NASA DIM or ALOS DIM and download the required uh, digital elevation model for your case study. For example, in this website, you can go for download ALOS, Word 3D, Certimeter, and select the region you want just by clicking uh, select a region. And then fill this information and click on the submit button and easily download these valuable data sets. Uh, after uh, providing or downloading digital elevation model raster, you need to create or extract the flow direction map. You know, a flow direction map indicates the direction of flow from each cell to uh, neighborhood cells. And you know, now in ArcGIS or other GIS-based softwares, uh, we have different flow tracing algorithms and different flow direction methods. You know, D8 is one of the most practical use approach. After uh, calculating a uh, flow direction map, uh, you need to calculate the flow accumulation raster. You know, uh, this uh, raster indicates the number of cells uh, coming from the upstream uh, cells to a specific cells uh, which are located uh, on a river ridge. And after calculating flow direction and flow accumulation rasters, uh, you should calculate the hand value raster. In other words, the hand value or hand raster is the normalized rasters according to the elevation of river ne networks. For example, if you see the number of hand value is two, uh, it means that the vertical difference uh, from this elevation, from this cell, excuse me, to the nearest uh, river network is equal about two meter. And if mm, this value is about uh, seven meter, it means that the vertical difference of these cells, uh, according to the nearest uh, river network is about uh, seven meter. Okay, after calculating the hand raster for each reverse, for example, you can see in this figure we have uh, two different 
reaches can bind at this location and can strike a new river reach at the upstream. Uh, in order to uh, find uh, which cells are inundated for a specific flood, uh, flood, you should extract or calculate the rating curve for each reaches. In this figure, you can see the rating curve and after that, uh, we can calculate the flood inundation mapping and flood extents. Uh, okay, for each uh, reach, you should extract the uh, rating curve and based on a specific uh, discharge value, you can uh, go to their stage. Let me need to maximize this picture. Okay, uh, for a specific uh, flood, for example, I want to extract the flood extents for a, a flood for uh, 100 returns period. Uh, you should uh, uh, calculate or you should have a flood values and then go to the rating curves and uh, go to the left side and read the flood depth. For example, in this case, uh, I have a discharge value about 10,000 uh, cubic meter per second and based on rating curve, it equals to about 7 meter flood depths. Okay, and after uh, finding the flood depths, uh, you can uh, find all cells uh, have a hand value lower than 70 meter inundated for this case. Okay, uh, let's uh, get a start uh, these procedures uh, in the ArcGIS environment and uh, discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of this simple but practical approach. Okay, after downloading them for your case study, you should go to the uh, ArcGIS and upload it in order to see the performance or the special distribution of elevation. Okay, let me... Okay, I downloaded this data set. Say Mary. Ah, okay. Uh, Previously, I, I, I've downloaded this data set and let me to extract here. Okay, uh, when you use this website for downloading uh, digital elevation uh, model data sets, uh, you can, uh, uh, you have uh, DEMS, you have DEMS with the geographical uh, coordinate system or, uh, excuse me, uh, the uh, coordinate system is decimal degree. Let me open this data set in the ArcGIS environment and you can, you can see the special variation of elevation. Okay, from this number to 28, 19 meter. Okay, in order to calculate hand uh, raster, you don't need to do difficult and complicated uh, procedures uh, through the ArcGIS. I will highly recommend you to use a software that is developed by uh, Dr. Nobre and et al. And you can easily download the software and use it for calculation of hand model. Okay, in this manual, you can find all about how working uh, this software and how can uh, import and export the required data set in order to calculate hand uh, raster. Okay, let me open the software hand model. Okay, let me to start the software. Okay, this software has a simple uh, graphical user interface and uh, you can get any trouble uh, while working this software. Okay, let me open the data set in this model. Uh, keep in your mind, uh, you don't, uh, uh, you must not have a, a digital elevation model based on UTM or other geographical coordinate system. This software just supports a decimal degree 
coordinate system. But uh, if you have a, a digital elevation a model which have a UTM coordinate system, let me know. Okay. Decimal degree, let me let me check. Uh, my digital elevation model is based on a, a UTM uh, coordinate system. And uh, if you download or open this uh, digital elevation model, you should convert it to decimal degree or uh, other coordinate system. For example, uh, I want to change the project of this raster. Uh, I search for a pro project raster to in ArcGIS. Okay, okay, open it. Come on, man, come on. Okay, as you can see, the coordinate system of this data set is GCS or Geographical Coordinate System or WGS 9084. Okay, this is a uh, suitable them for using in hand software, uh, but uh, if you have uh, a digital elevation model with different coordinate system, you must uh, uh, select for input raster and change it to geographical coordinate system or WGS 9084 and convert it and use it for hand raster. But in this case, my DEM does not require for converting the coordinate system. So I select the ALUS DEM and then click and select the DEM. And like ArcGIS environment, you can see the special distribution of elevation for your uh, selected them. Okay, let's to, uh, uh, try to calculate hand model. You can click on this option, I mean them to hand, and again select them, select again this uh, digital elevation model, and set an output for uh, uh, fully direction, corrected them, fully accumulation, you know, LDD represent the fully direction maps or calculates the fully direction maps. DMC is the corrected them and the ACC represents the fully accumulation raster. And also uh, this software calculates the drainage line or uh, river uh, or stream network raster. And in order to extract the river networks, you should define a threshold for extracting or for defining the stream networks. For example, uh, if you uh, have a large uh, catchment, you must uh, take 1% of the area for introducing the threshold. Okay, uh, in this case, uh, I use this number, I mean, 10,000 uh, for starting for definition of river networks and it equals that each cell uh, when each cell has a, a upstream area higher than uh, or larger than uh, six uh, kilometer uh, square kilometer their river network starts to define okay uh, uh, try to uh, use a lower value in order to better extraction of river networks. And uh, in this section, uh, just click on hand raster image only because uh, I don't want to uh, store all of these data set. But if you want to have all data set, just unclick this option. And in this case, the model uh, can save all outputs in this uh, folders. Okay, and we don't have other options. Just click on OK. And after a while, and it depends on the volume of your dam, it can take about one minute or five minutes.
and now it's in the processing of hand raster and it extract hand from different layers okay the process finished successfully I close it and click on load project go to the desired folder and select the hand output and click hand okay now you can see the hand raster for the case study so in order to better calculation of flood extent and flood maps uh, let's uh, go to the ArcGIS and uh, we can uh, do different uh, mathematical uh, processes in the in the hand model we just use this software in order to calculation of hand okay let me to close the software okay uh, in order to increase the volume of video i stop uh, this video here and will continue at the next video